Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's great to be back online and today we're going to be doing a little bit of truck shopping. I'm here at Kentwood Ford checking out a 2023 Ford F-150 XLT. You don't want to miss it, so buckle up and let's go for a ride. Well guys, the time has come to look at a replacement for the 2006 Nissan Titan SE. There's really nothing wrong with the truck, it's been running good, but I do want to look at upgrading and getting something a little bit newer. Uh, basically the truck is my location of workplace uh, where I sit and do 90% of my uh, work from the steering wheel. So I'm traveling all over the province and I am planning on going up to the Northwest Territories uh, to do a lot of training as well this year. So it's time to look at a new set of wheels. I will be test driving about three trucks on the market. I have identified that I'll be also looking at a 2023 Nissan, or not a Nissan, I want to stay with a full-size truck. I'll be doing a, uh, a Toyota Tundra and also a Ram 1500. But anyway guys, first on the list, and it's probably my first choice so far, is a Ford F-150. It's an XLT with a 3.3 naturally aspirated V6, producing 290 horsepower and with a 10-speed automatic. Let's go take a look at what I'm looking at and uh, take her for a test drive and demonstrate its abilities and some of its attributes. So as we see the front end, it's got the chrome treatment, chrome lower bumpers and the chrome shrouded uh, 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 grill which makes it a lot, uh, it makes it really pop out really nicely. This one here has the standard halogen headlights. And again, let's go on the inside and take a look at what we got. So again, very nicely appointed. The uh, for an entry level truck still has some really nice soft touch surfaces with really nice stitching. The uh, interior design is, uh, is one of their updated modern ones. So you're getting the newer design interior. This one does have the uh, center console and I'm gonna show you why I like this design the best. Ford also came up with this nice, really cool seat design. Looks like it's uh, nice and strong, good wear and tear. And of course we got the window sticker which we'll go over um, in detail. But anyway guys, we have the non-carpeted floor, uh, non floor. This one here is good for you know wear and tear. And also if you have wet feet, the carpet's not gonna get soaked. So it's good for a work truck. Again, it's got the newer dodging on the side. Stepping into the cockpit. Uh, behind the driver's side wheel, you got again complements of the power windows, all the power accessories that you come to expect in this type of price point of a truck. Steering wheel controls, center console again with the backup camera. Ford went to a larger screen, so it's a little bit nicer for the backup cameras and for the infotainment unit and the HVAC system. Once we get into the interior, we're going to go over it a little bit more in detail, but before we do that, like everything else that is being reviewed, we pop the hood open. So as you can see, the truck is on shock, so you don't have an annoying prop rod. It's a one-hand operation. Everything under the hood is for simplicity and uh, simple maintenance. So what you get is a lot of mechanic-friendly engineering with the 3.3 liter. We got pretty easy battery to replace, also to inspect. Um, again, there's a lot of room under the hood because you know this truck here is a full-size half-ton truck. Comes with a lot of different powertrains. 
So everything from the uh, base 3.3 all the way up to a 5 liter and in some cases uh, larger, more displacement and induction. So you have the EcoBoost that are kind of in the mid pack of that family, which is the 3.5, which would be the most popular. But anyway, guys, I'm looking at the 3.3 liter. As you can tell, everything under the hood is so easy to service. There's nothing hidden. You don't have a lot of complicated uh, components to it. So for longevity, simplicity, and lower cost motoring, this engine uh, would probably do many uh, half ton owners just fine. Unless you're towing at the max or close to the max, you probably will be able to live with this just fine. So yeah, it's uh, pretty easy to get to. All service points are uh, easy to check. If I'm here on the side, I can kind of give it a good visual. Uh, the dipstick um, area to uh, check the oil. It's very accessible. I can reach that without a problem. A lot of this too has no touch visible uh, checkpoints like see-through coolant, see-through brake fluid and everything else. So we're going to look at some of the way it drives and some of the power. But so far, this is the type of package which I feel complements an F-150 uh, very well. So let's jump behind the wheel and see how she runs and drives. Well guys, this truck does come with remote keyless entry and also panic alarm so you can unlock and lock from your uh, key fob. If you do happen to have a dead battery you need, it's got the manual lock and unlock as well. Keeping things a little bit more old school and safe. From here as well, you got a full size cab rear back seat so it's not gonna be squishy. The back doors aren't gonna be as tight as some of the competitors. So again, we got seating for three back here. Uh, full-size adults along with some HVAC controls and actually rear cup holders as well built into the back and also into the storage area on each door panel comes with nice uh, hard touch plastic with a little bit of an integrated design and power windows and you can keep your cell phone and other objects there and of course a nice handy grime handle so it looks really good back here this one has the fixed rear window which actually I prefer again it's got the rubber flooring uh, for those that have soaking wet feet and tracking a lot of mud and water in it this is going to be a lot easier to keep clean especially if you add some extra uh, weather tech type of floor mats well guys from the business end of it this is what you've got you got a new updated look nice integrated chrome bumper with tail lights it's got a mix of a classic look and an entry and a uh, more of a modern look this is locking with the uh, key fob which is really good once you hit unlock then you can take it so if you have a, a bed cover or even just you know having a blocked bed keeps the things a little bit more safe this truck is equipped with the uh, spray and bed liner for extra durability and of course it comes with the four anchor down points and a, it's a deeper box so again it's on the small side the box is five and a half feet long uh, so it's their entry level box so depending on your needs Ford does offer a extended box in this model uh, at an option I believe that option does bump you up to the 2.7 liter EcoBoost and greater engines so that's kind of brings us into the uh, uh, look at the truck again. I think it looks really good in blue the wheels and tires make this truck look nice Again, you can accessorize it with lift kits with leveling kits with some accessories and the truck will look very sporty and It'll look a little bit more premium than just a base model truck So guys, yes, it's time to go behind the wheel and take this out on a run Well guys hopping onto the interior once I got inside and I shut the door It's like a vault. It keeps a lot of the exterior noise level out I'm not even using my external mic which I normally use when I'm outside this is just picking up with the phone and as you could tell she's pretty quiet which means it's got really good thick door handles or sorry door uh, seams and really good insulation with the uh, rubber gaskets that are around it but anyway guys this is a kind of the newer interior it uh, does have a lot of good uh, design to it it's uh, for an entry-level truck it's uh, on the premium side so again this one's just one off the lot it hasn't been through the detail shop so it's kind of a little bit of uh, dirty little bit of a uh, fingerprints on it but as you can tell it's got full instrumentation so it's got the analog gauges with the rpm speedometer uh, oil pressure uh, 
auto temp or the engine temperature fuel and also transmission which is what you'd come to inspect now when we light it up we got a nice little display here and that's going to be built for tough it gives a little bit of a things this one's got 566 kilometers so it's been driven a little bit not too bad it says the passenger side door is ajar so i may have to uh, shut that i probably did not uh, look uh, probably didn't slam it as hard as I can so before I take off I'll do that but anyways you got your typical steering wheel controls you've got your center uh, your center stack which is pronounced which I really like the way they integrated the screen it's not one of those add-on screens that look like a TV sitting on a cabinet I'm not really a fan of that but this one here does offer a nice good utility so if you have big thick gloves on during the winter time or you're you know have big bulky hands all these switches will not be uh, will be easy to operate very intuitive so at the top you've got the auto start and stop you got your camera uh, your four-way flashers and your stability control which you can take on and off and there's a role for that which is why Ford takes it off center console here just gives you your controls with the audio and your uh, infotainment system coming down here on the left you have your four-wheel drive mode two-wheel four-wheel high and four low which is your simple two-speed transfer case and then coming through the center console, you have your HVAC controls with your AC and rear defrogger. Moving on to the passenger side, you've got your 12 volt and your battery charger outlets to uh, connect to your interconnectivity. Just above the passenger side, uh, or just below the passenger side vent, is the extra glove box for the overhead. So that button does that really good design course you get more value for your money and they give you two glove box coming in here you got your LED lighting your uh, sunglass holder and also just some of the infotainment here when it comes to your map lights and reading lights of course you got your full view mirrors with mapping light as well so the lights are on because we do have a door open which I will be shutting it off. And then, of course, looking through the back end, you've got uh, three headrests and a full-size window with rear defrogger. So with the leading to the last part of it that I wanna go over, the center console offers two rear cup holders for the rear passengers. It's got the two front cup holders for the front. And again, a full list of storage bins, charging ports, and a very deep center console to put whatever you need down there. Of course, this would probably be a detailer's nightmare, depending on how people are uh, looking at the vehicle. So other than that, panoramic view on the Ford F-150 is very good. Sightline is good. The door here dips down so you can see the side view very well. So it helps to reduce blind spot and lane changing conflict points. So guys, we're going to take it on the road and take it for a test drive. Well guys, so far the test drive is going by really well. A couple things that I noticed that I really like about the truck is the 10-speed automatic really complements the drivetrain. It shifts perfectly, very smoothly, and I think it's a good combination for a decent truck uh, that is going to fulfill most of its uh, half-ton duties. Now the other thing that I noticed on it that is very fluent and very smooth, a lot smoother than I thought would be, would be the start stop feature. I've driven a lot of vehicles with this feature and it's kind of a mixed feeling. It's kind of has some of abruptness to it. Uh, this one doesn't, it, uh, very smooth takeoffs and start and stops. It also is a little bit of an adaptive smart feature to it that when you're in an intersection from a stop making a left-hand turn, it doesn't turn off. It's got some sort of a sensor in there or the way it's calibrated, engineered, uh, it doesn't shut the vehicle off while you're in an intersection. So I think the turn signal may have something to do with it. Of course, I'll have to do some more investigation if I do purchase the truck and let you guys know uh, if that's the case. But anyway, guys, yeah, so far I'm really enjoying it. It's very quiet, it's very uh, good handling, and it's got lots of good road feel. So I'm really impressed with it. I'm kind of in a parking lot right now doing some vehicles and they're not uh, turning around. But anyway, guys, so far I'm really loving the uh, truck. The test drive is good. 
Again, the evaluation on this truck, I would rate it as very high. Again, I'm gonna be comparing it against the Toyota Tundra and also the Ram 1500, probably the newer design, just to keep it as the same price point of how trucks are priced these days. Well guys, that concludes the test drive for the 2023 Ford F-150 XLT 3.3 liter. Uh, like I said, very impressed with it. I think for the price point and for the value that Ford is offering, it's uh, definitely a contender for me and my half ton uh, requirements. It'll pull my trailer, it'll pull my equipment just well. It'll offer me efficiency, simplicity, and low cost motoring. So definitely is gonna be at the top of the list. Now we gotta talk about numbers. So we're looking in the neighborhood of the late 50s, early $60,000 mark, plus the uh, interest rate and any type of uh, credits and discounts Ford has at the moment. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna hand on the keys back to them. I'm gonna upload the video very shortly and get back to you guys on the next test drive. Uh, I might be doing the uh, Tundra next. We'll see how I have time for tomorrow, but we should be able to do a back-to-back -back test drive on Friday because I do want to make a decision within the next few days. So anyway, guys, hope this gives you a little bit of insight on the 2023 Ford F-350. And again, if you are looking to get something soon with the 3.3 liter, you got to buy what's left on the lot because the 3.3 liter is gone after 23 leaving the 2.7 liter as the sole entry drivetrain for the 24 model year so guys get yourself a good deal if you want the simplistic drivetrain it matches very well but anyway guys we are going to go behind the wheel and test drive some more iron you guys thanks again coming to you live from kentwood ford here in edmonton alberta i will catch you on the next test drive you guys stay loose for now